Hello everyone, welcome back to Burnout Paradise and uh, today why don't we look out for a couple of races to do and uh, one of them is right around the corner here right there So let's see what we can do here. Okay, this is pretty much go in a straight line as quickly as possible. I wanted to go left there and then onto the highway pretty much, but uh, apparently that's not going to be in the cards. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I thought I could make it through. Now I'm fucked, because this was only gonna work, uh, I assume at least, if if I didn't crash. Oh my god, we actually made that. Driver off the road to okay. and pick up a boost bonus. Wow. <laughs> Didn't realize that was gonna happen, but then again, what else was gonna happen in that situation? Uh-huh. Let's go this way, okay. You see sometimes you can make close maneuvers like that and sometimes you just crash. Oh yeah. So we won this. This was a pretty easy race too. Despite the fact that I was like... I didn't make the perfect decisions at all times. There's another race. Race Northwest to the Country Club. Northwest to the Country Club. Okay, good. Fine. He got a he got an early start. A lead start, I should say. Let's follow him. So there is going to be a left turn right here. Oh no. Oh. I should stop being indecisive on those on those forks. Like either you're gonna go left or you're gonna go right. Don't like go left and then think oh no I wanna go right instead and, and then like we saw what happened. Okay, finished sideways and in first place, so nothing wrong with that at all. There is probably another race like right there as well, yeah. So now I'm getting the hang of how, how the whole system of the races works. You have several uh, starting points, you have several destinations and uh, usually Wherever you finish a race, there is a uh, starting point for another race pretty close by. At least that's what it's gonna be early on now, because I haven't done, completed very many races yet. I imagine that later on, I I gotta look out for a couple more locations once I'm getting sort of close to the end. But um, at that point, on the other hand, I should also have. Uh, found a lot more races on the map
You see, it's like now he downshifts for the boost, and once the boost is over, he upshifts again. So, am I actually going faster after the boost as opposed to uh, during the boost? Obviously, I'm ga uh, I'm going faster after the boost compared to before boosting, but like. Oh. Is the top speed higher without boost? That seems a little bit silly. Oh damn. Okay, that wasn't so bad actually. Oh, now I realize, okay, there's a little bong telling me before I gotta make a turn to the left or to the right and then uh, on the very top where there's like a uphill drive now above my destination, uh, if I gotta turn left then the road name will uh, pop up on the on the left and if, if I gotta turn right it, it pops up uh, on the right. I understand the system now. It's, you know, takes a little to get used to, but I think now that I've got it, I think it'll be just fine. I can work with it. And we won this very comfortably. Good. The hunter reliable custom is now cruising around Paradise City. Mm -hmm. If you see it, shut it down to add it to your car. Oh yeah, we got another car that we need to shut down, right? That was right at the end of the last episode we found we unlocked one that we actually haven't found yet. And the same thing goes for right now. Oh, I thought there was actually a path there that we could follow, but uh, obviously there wasn't. <laughs> um, let's make that jump. a car that we don't have yet. Oh no! Damn it. Where's that racer now? Where is he? Did he just disappear? Or is he gonna appear again right behind me? There he is. Oh no, he went the other way. You gotta crash, dude. You did not get taken out by that. Where is he now? Please die, so I can get your car. Where is he? He respawned on the road!
Would you please do me a favor and die already? The Reliable there we go. Reliable custom. Oh, the junkyard is on the other side. Let's go this way. There's another one as well, this the other car that we're looking out for. We got him. Oh yeah. So we can't turn the right. Oh, we can. And there's gonna be the junkyard. So we are gonna be picking up. Or at least we're gonna be collecting both of the cars. Possibly picking up one of them and driving them. We'll see how good they are. Okay. Uh. <laughs> And a gentle drift make it a quite handy package. An unconventional little all-rounder, okay. And then there's the Kitano Hydra's Custom. Basically front the front wheel drive shopping cart with a big nitrous system. Okay, I don't want a front wheel drive shopping cart. Yeah, it's not particularly... Uh, not particularly fast. This one? Yeah, let's take it. Alrighty then. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and fix it first though. Oh no. <laughs> make a race with this too okay race northeast to the coast guard hq northeast okay good everyone else got a head start it's not fair oh okay let's go through here and let's not crash uh, we crashed. Actually, what the fuck? Why am I ahead? It just showed position 6 out of 6 for a second. And then all of a sudden I was ahead again. Okay, can't go and jump over that. I can't jump here though. And here. Oh my god. Oh. I saw it coming. That had to happen. Right? I knew that it was gonna happen, it's just... Okay, and we're almost there already. Cross the line sideways again. And that's cool. We need 10 more wins. 
and I'm sure we're gonna be able to to do that. It shouldn't be that hard, honestly. Race southwest to the naval yard. Right, this time we go southwest. Oh, there's a big jump. I'm sort of disappointed that doesn't count towards the, you know, big jumps completed in your, uh, like in the exploration mode or uh, as far as exploration goes in this game. Like if you, if you jump over a big ramp in, in a race, I think that should count as well. So you don't have to do it again, but then again, I know where it is now. Oh, there was a big ramp too, but not one with the blue flashing lights. I mean, this is sort of ridiculous because, like, we are driving at uh, the speed of light in a freaking truck from the 50s or so, going sideways around almost every corner we come across. It's just. <laughs> yep, but we won. This truck is unstoppable. <laughs> Apparently. Nine more wins. Okay, so we've already completed the races here. But there is a, a thing here. Marked man. I forgot the name of this, this event type. You are the marked man. Get ready. Um, okay. I need to survive. Northeast to the waterfront plaza before the drivers chasing you smash up your car. If you get there in one piece, you get a mark on your license. Because he's gonna break. Or he's gonna do that. If I just do that though. Oh! I thought I could make it over the ramp! No! And now I'm on the other side again. What? Last time that worked! Where are the other guys? Okay, there's one right ahead of me. He crashed. That's awesome. What the fuck, man? Oh yeah, I, I'm loving those drifts in this truck. And we made it! <laughs> wow. Okay. The Watson R Turbo Roadster is now on the streets of Paradise City. Oh, that you car looks pretty cool. It down to add it to your car collection. Let's see if we can find it. It's probably just gonna appear naturally at some point. Boost refill. That's great. And 
We're gonna repair this car on the fly as well. It's interesting but also cool that this car, uh, d not this car, this game doesn't have any sort of monetary system, like everything is free. You don't have to, you don't earn money, you don't have to sp spend money, it's one less thing to worry about. And that's cool. Oh, there he is. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Let's turn around. And go to the junkyard and pick it up. Hopefully this has three points in speed. Oh, that's, th that's actually the wrong direction. Was the mouse pointer still on the screen? Like almost transparent, but still on the screen. Okay, so we are going to be picking up this thing. Um, right. Let's see how good it is. Uh, pretty bad, all things considered. The truck has the same speed and boost, but a lot higher strength. This has the same... This is worse than the Ikusa GT. Yeah, I mean... It looks cool though. But let's stick with the truck for now. It's, 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 it's awesome to sort of um, destroy everything on the freaking uh, track or in, in the races with something that uh, clearly wasn't designed to be racing. Let's also look for the paint. Yeah, that one maybe in like Yeah, red looks pretty okay here. And what is this type of event? Road rage. I imagine this truck would be pretty good at something like that. This is a road rage. Take down other drivers before they get two takedowns, okay? Run out of time. Take the battle all over the city and beat the target to receive a mark on your license. Oh, the other guys are right behind me then. Got one. Okay, damn it. The same thing didn't work again. Fucking AIs. Fucking, like, traffic. Oh, I couldn't get him. What? I thought I could just drive through there. I mean, then again, it is a tree, so it makes sense that I couldn't. He's down. Got him as well. What? Why did I just spin out? Why are, what are they doing? He's dead? And I didn't get wrecked there for whatever reason. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
I got pushed at the speed of light. Um, how am I not dead now? He's also not dead. Now he is? What the fuck, man? And another one. Holy shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh man, I, I thought I could get him. Got another one. So I actually got seven, seven, eight. What the fuck? Okay, he got taken out there. I got eight takedowns when my target was two of them. Holy shit, man. And then again, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit had a similar mode. Like wh whenever I was the cop and uh, when I had to bust all those uh, suspects, I also had to do similar stuff to what I was doing nearby. here. So, Atomica, giving away all the secrets on Crash FM. Gonna repair my car here and then look out for potentially another race or something. Oh, there's another marked man mission. Sure. Let's see if we can fool those guys again. Or why did I actually win that previous one so easily? Did I like trick him and they went the wrong way? Or did I actually manage to somehow get rid of them and take him out or something along those lines? Is he dead now? Good thing this isn't... This, uh, good thing there's no time limit. I can take as long as I want to get to my destination. Okay. He's down for a moment at least. Okay. What the f... <laughs> Too much aggression is not good for you, buddy. Like... Aggression is good, but only up to a point. Oh, there's gonna be a big jump here. Please don't ram me right before it. Okay, he didn't. There he goes. And there goes that guy. I actually didn't really take much damage at all on that. Did I trick them? I don't think so. Nope, I hear another engine right behind me and... Uh, who would have thought it's that guy? Oh no. Oh, I thought I could still make that drift, but um, I couldn't. Okay, there we go, there's the finish line. Pretty easy. This truck is just rock solid. It's so good. <laughs> okay, there's more and more events now that have a check mark uh, on the minimap. So that's pretty good. I don't remember what the green ones were. Um, okay. I already completed the race here. Or, no, I did not. What? Stunt run. Oh, yeah, sure. Jumps, rolls, spins, and drifts to beat the target score in the time limit. Sure, a stunt run with a freaking truck. Why not? So, we're gonna be doing a big drift. 
to the right, like so. And this wasn't actually as big of a drift as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, huge jump coming up. There we go. Oh. I I thought there was just that, that barrier in the middle, but there was actually a ramp. was gonna be able to I thought there was a ramp at the end here but I realized too late that this was actually sort of the end of the the end of this road and there is certainly no ramp like that would go into the ocean or something like that what did I not get past that on the side please I thought I totally did Either way, we're fine on points. We got more than enough. Okay, time's up and uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end then. <laughs> I won! It wasn't a, a really great run, but it did the job. It was enough. Look out for the Rossellini LM Classic drive. Oh, around. this one looks pretty cool. If you see it, shut it down to add it to your car collection. Tell you what, we're gonna look out for this car and then unlock it. As always, pretty much. So there's no ramp here, but there is one here. Please show up. Oh, yeah, there's this one. Oh, there he was. Can I find him again? Yeah, there he is. He's down. The LM Classic has been delivered to your junkyard. Awesome. So let's go to the junkyard. I don't care about the whatever that is. The counter on the top. Let's go here. Nice. And let's see if that car is any good. Uh, huge boost, but very low strength. Let's try it. 
When you're driving a speed class car like this one, you can only boost when your bar is full. They're also the only cars that can perform burnouts when you use all your boost in one go. Also, I, I need to fill up my boost bar before I can boost. Okay. But in any case, we now have a pretty cool new car and I'm excited to test it out tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.